What an excellent first find. Oh, a bead. A beautiful bead. Button. Might be able to clean it up. It's a tiny bottom of the face with a bow. Oh. Okay, so I bent down to pick up that button and what do I see? But a knuckle bone, a jack, a gobby, a five stone. I haven't found one of these in ages and it's a beautiful brown colour and it's not, it's almost, it's in really good condition. Oh, I think we have enough to play now. We have to have a game when we get home. Another bull, um, another bull, another lovely beautiful blue bead. Ooh, our bead string's gonna go longer from this trip. Ooh, and that looks like that might be good for a Christmas craft. Oh, it's like a holly leaf. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, look. It's a little arm, but I think it's... <laughs> Um, we need the other arm. <laughs> oh, look, this arm. I need to make my doll, but it's always this arm. It's really weird. But I'm very grateful. Thank you, the arm. It's another rat. But <laughs> I said on the way here I wanted to find the a whole rat pipe. Because now we've now figured out those things I've been finding on pipes are actually rats because of the lovely book that we've been bought. And look, there's another one. <laughs> but it's not the whole one. <laughs> oh well. I'll gradually build my own. That's a pretty one. That's really nice. I think that's really nice. Very architectural. Couple of pieces. It's a bad bottom. found a tiny arm. <laughs> yeah, little doll's arm with all her five fingers and everything. A button, plain, and over here, some chain. I thought that was actually a shell to start with. Well, that's the closest I've ever come to a whole one. Oh, that would have been so beautiful. Oh, such a shame. Okay, pipe extraction time. Oh, does it have like a harp on it or is that just... Oh, I can see that it's got a crack. So I'm going to have to be careful here. Oh, it's plain, but it's beautiful. But look, you can see that it's all cracked a lot. So I'm going to be very careful and leave the mud in until I can get home and glue it. But pipe, first pipe bowl of the day. Hopefully more will follow. Good 
for craft. <laughs> and legs. It's gonna have anything on it. <laughs> no. Shame. Not quite nice. It's a slate pencil to match the board. I wonder if I can write on it. <laughs> Should definitely not take pens and pencils for granted. But wow. Be a queen. Ooh. Oh, is it a military? This is an artillery button. Is it an artillery gun. Ooh, let's see if we can get this cred off when we get home. I have just found another neck from what was most likely a head clay pipe. It's a lady. I think it's a lady that goes with your man. Where's your man pipe thing? Look. <laughs> oh, I don't think so, but that's amazing. Wait. How cute! They're magnificent. How cute! They're magnificent. Shame it's not a whole bowl, yeah. hey? Rich served cream contains a small proportion. Ooh. Does that say? Not awesome. <laughs> I lost this tiny red bead, but I found it again, <laughs> incredibly. <laughs> Another bead. See, why the, there's a pretty tile stuck in there. something, a rivet or something we're writing on. I can't see what it says. Oh, what does it say? D? Deans? I don't know. Look at Kate and her super duper camera. Usual lump of glass and a stair rod holder. Do I want the unusual lump of clothes? I think I might.
bead for the bead collection that I'm growing today. <gasps> Do you see him? <gasps> oh, oh my goodness. Look at him. It's a little, oh gosh, no, my bead. of tiny cups. <laughs> they had a lot of tiny cups. teddy bear's eye. In fact, I'm pretty sure that's a teddy bear's eye. I found a teddy bear's eye. What? A teddy bear eye. <gasps> oh my goodness. <laughs> me and me eyes. <laughs> I can see the metal where it would have gone that's in. That's amazing. Oh. Little wagon. Definitely looks like a heart. Phew. It's another arm. Lady. And these are good for wings. A little person in a boat. A little lady in a boat. It's quite cute. Is that a tile or is it just a very fortunately cut piece of glass? I think it's just a very fortunately cut piece of glass. That's beautiful and excellent <laughs> for crafting. of body to add to our collection. It is. Wearing a toga of some sort, I'd imagine. In here. I found the back of a pig and it makes me very sad. <laughs> Well, not so many finds today, but 
any day spent outside mudlarking with mum is a day well spent. And I think we got some nice bits. So, um, see you in the roundup. Well, that was a trip to our favourite beach from a very, very long time ago. <laughs> it was summer. I know we were wearing coats, but the British summer isn't exactly... I wasn't wearing a coat. You were, we did actually take our coats off in the end, yes, didn't it was we? Very hot. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, there were a couple of issues with that film, so I kept on putting off, putting it up. But, but needs, needs must. <laughs> <gasps> So, yeah, I guess Kate said there's, there were issues with this film and we didn't really find that much, to be honest. <laughs> um, but there's a few things there, there's a few interesting things. Um, I can't even remember who found what, so what's your favourite? <laughs> <laughs> uh, probably my little, probably our, probably our, um, yeah, I'd say. Places. Yeah, it is weird because neither of us have ever found anything like that on a pipe and then we both find one almost exactly the same size with a different I found on the same day that one and you found that one that's crazy they're both ladies yeah or was one a man I, I think mine I don't know I can't tell what gender mine is I think it's probably a man I think it's probably a man but I don't want to offend <laughs> if it's a woman Mine's definitely a woman, isn't it? Yes. She's from a oh, queen. No? I mean, it could Was be it a man. man. <laughs> it might be a woman. She's got that bosoms, hasn't she? <laughs> well, if anybody recognises these, because, I mean, it's a very pipes. small bit to go on to mine's investigate. Mine's got an E on it. It has. But they're amazing. But she looks like Queen Alexandra. So, yeah, if anyone recognises either of these pipes. It is... It does look like Alexandra, but there is no... I can't see a pipe like that with her on it. Who does mine look like? <laughs> a very, I wonder if there's a clay pipe with a head on it. Yes, it is. <laughs> um, oh, I don't know. It's very primitive. Mm. But Ed yeah. Edward? No. <laughs> I mean, it's got an E, but no. But, um... Yeah, I think they're amazing. I think they're very, very cool things. And I'm very sorry that I didn't film me picking mine up. <laughs> you saw that I just filmed before picking it up. So. And my rat. And my rat. I found another rat. The coat's tail wraps around the pipe. I'm definitely the rat pipe woman. Mm. My little laughing Buddha. That's what it is, right? I think so, yeah. Smiling Buddha. I don't know what it... I mean, it's probably off of... some sort of... I don't know. It's made of terracotta, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But he's lovely. And I suppose Buddhas are lucky. Buddhas are lucky. So, yeah. He will go pride of place somewhere on our mudlarking shelf. Uh, we found three arms, but we've used one of them in some doll somewhere. Probably one of the dump doll's arms. Um, but look how tiny this one is, a Victorian one. Oh, we'll go with those tiny legs. Never found an arm quite that tiny. We found arms much smaller than that. N not with a Victorian end, yeah. have we? Yeah. Really? Yeah, much smaller. They're all in the box in the living room waiting to be made into some tiny dolls. Oh, I'm not sure. So it turns out it's actually the same size. Oh, get rid of the eye. It turns out they're actually the same size as um, Norma's arms. So <laughs> one of the smallest. We've so never found a smaller. No. The eye. So we have dolls parts. I found a teddy bear eye. Another glass teddy bear eye, and this one's whole. It's much smaller than the other one, but we have plans for our next craft. Oh, hello, Sunny. Hello. <laughs> hello. Yeah, we have. Don't you dare jump up there. 
we have plans for our next craft which involve these teddy bear eyes. One of them is much bigger than the other and broken but the, maybe you could like to guess what we're going to do with them. <laughs> Sunny, no jumping, don't. Sunny. Oh, you're so curious. Yeah, so you can see if you can guess what we're going to make with the teddy bear eyes. Wait, get the, um, the other component. <laughs> well, that will make it obvious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yes, if you can't guess, this is some teddy bear fabric. And teddy bear it's a, eyes. And two very different teddy bear eyes. <laughs> it's gonna be strange. Um, so yeah, that will be up on Thursday. Assuming it all goes well. Yeah. <laughs> Neither of us have ever made a teddy bear before, but we're very, very excited. <gasps> so he's yeah, the teddy bear is going to live um live with the dump dolls. Dolls, dump dolls. Maybe they could give us a name for the teddy now, so then in the actual film we can actually say what his name is. Okay. Yeah. So. But they haven't seen him yet. No, but they'll see his eyes. <laughs> and he's got colour he'll be. Um, pretty... decanter top. It's not a decanter top. Probably a, a bottle person, bottle a person stopper. Of, yeah. But it's got a, a little chip out the corner, unfortunately, but that's still cute. A uh, lid of a doll's pot, which will go be used as well as this soon we'll be making a, a doll's house miniature film soon another mud larking miniatures yep um a gobby it's a very good condition this gobby it is i think it's in the best condition the best one we've ever found this must have just come out of the must have just been eroded because it hasn't been worn he's discovered it kate <laughs> he's found out <laughs> where been, we do our roundups we've been now. cat free <laughs> <laughs> Gobby, Five Stone, Knuckle Bones. Snob. Do all Jacks. sorts of just regional names for them. Um, these are all our gobbies. So it's definitely enough to play a game with, which we will do. What else have we got? So buttons, a little shank one to go on our button string. Um, beads to go on our beads. A few beads. This looks like it was probably from a little stained glass or something because it's very perfectly cut and just quite nice. Be quite nice for jewelry. <laughs> oh, Hello. Be good for jewelry. <laughs> it could stick a bead on it. Oh, I can't see the cats in the way. <laughs> um, a torso. No, not torso. Legs. Some nice pieces of. <laughs> I think people have been missing you. Mm. Just making sure they all know you're yeah. still here. You're still the most important. Yeah. Yeah. But I can't see Sunny Cat. We've got some nice um, pieces of pottery with things on. This one's got a house on it. I don't know if that's even open. Because the cat sat on. What <laughs> you sat on? All the dolls left. <gasps> no! Some nice bits of pottery. You, that you're not going to be able to see. So no, just, you can't see. Okay, fluffy bomb ball in the way. Um, I thought this was a person in a boat, but actually it's a horse's it's head. horse. <laughs> you said person in a boat and it's a horse. <laughs> um, lady. I think, is she a milkmaid? Has she got this up? I can't tell. She doesn't seem to have a head. She's, she's good for craft. Um, wagon. Or a carriage, maybe. More of a carriage. Uh, a bird's head and a bird's butt, which fit together quite. This is what I've talked about before about what I'm going to do is like make Frankenstein parts, and this is a perfect example. And he's sitting on all the limbs. This is we're supposed to be professional, Sunny Cat. <laughs> um, I found this piece of architectural tile, <laughs> <laughs> which is quite nice again for craft. So mum found a dense button, 
which would have been Dent's gloves. And they, I, we found a Dent's button before and we went into a bit of the history of them. But they are the UK's oldest or one of the oldest glove makers. And they've made gloves for the British royalty. And yeah, very, very nice fancy gloves. And the last Dent's button I found was at that beach. Could have been the other one. Different button. Oh. <laughs> So on the day when I found this pipe, you heard me say, oh, has it got a harp on it? And then I went, oh, no, it's just plain. And then I came home. As you can see, it did struggle after the dirt was removed, some of it. Did it go down the flagpole? But it does have a harp on it. So it's probably an Irish pipe. And it's quite funny because um, I only realised it did have a pipe on it when I went to glue it together. Harp a harp on it when I went to glue it together this morning so obviously I found this in the summer we have a film coming up in a couple of weeks where I may or may not find a pipe very similar to this and I thought it was my first one but it turns out I actually found one in summer but obviously I didn't realise because we tried not to look at the roundups until it came to filming them well it's like mudlarking again isn't it yeah so yeah Okay, so um, that was our last time we'll be at that beach yeah, until a long we, time. we can go again. Um, we hope you enjoyed. Um, we hope you are excited about seeing us make the teddy bear as we are excited about making it. We're a little dubious. Um, yeah, he's going to be wonky. He's going to no be getting away from it. Definitely going to be a wonky teddy bear. <laughs> So yeah, that will be up on Thursday, and then next Sunday we have a sea glass hunting trip. The last time we, we went to the beach. The last time we went to the beach that we managed to make before lockdown. So, <laughs> so much dribble has just gone on my hand, Sunny. <laughs> um, so, yeah. I, I need to ap just apologise about not answering any comments. My laptop has been really, really a bit peculiar at the moment. It's, yes. a, it's a bit better now, but I haven't been able to answer the comments, so I, I, I will get onto the backlog. And we just have to say a massive thank you to all of our wonderful Kofi donors and for all of the wonderful comments, even if Mum's not been able to answer <laughs> them yet. So, yeah, uh, we'll see you soon. We'll leave you with... Sunny Cat. Cat. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Some limbs. <laughs>